Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and today I wanted to make a quick video to show you I was able to get universal control working on my Mac Pro 5.1 running OpenCore 0.7.9 and Monterey 12.3.1. Now it's been very hit or miss. The first time I tried to use it, it worked. And I'm like, hey, this is very cool. And then my iPad next time around would not show up. And I have not figured out what's going on with that. Um, it is still in beta. So I don't know if people with newer Macs are having the same issues or if it works flawlessly for them. Unlike Sidecar, universal control actually works. Uh, Sidecar has never worked for me with my Mac Pro. It only works with modern Macs. Now you do have to have a newer Bluetooth Wi-Fi card in your Mac Pro for this to work. You gotta be running the latest OS on everything. But again, sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. So when you go to system prefs, you wanna click on displays and then you go to universal control, make sure all the check boxes are checked. It's still in beta universal control, as you can see, beta, beta, beta. Then you go to add display and you'll see link keyboard and mouse to Lance's iPad Pro. You don't wanna to go to mirror or extend to that sidecar and sidecar doesn't work but sometimes you won't see your iPad show up. You'll just see your three monitors there on the screen, no iPad, and it won't show up in the drop-down menu either. So when you first bring your iPad near your Mac, it will show up on this list, hopefully, under link keyboard and mouse. And you can see there's no checkbox by it yet, and you don't see it on the screen there next to my three other monitors. But the first time you mouse over to the iPad, you have to sort of break through that membrane or whatever you want to call it, the barrier. And it shows you your little Mac Pro icon trying to get into the iPad with the mouse. It, you break through that and then the check mark then shows up under link keyboard and mouse Lance's iPad Pro. The check mark will be there and you can now move the mouse freely between your Mac and the iPad. And here I am dragging a file from my desktop to the iPad's files and then grabbing a file from the iPad and dragging it back to my desktop. So universal control is more convenient than using AirDrop. And here I am just uh, going to grab my, put my mouse over there and notes and I'm going to do some typing. So, you know, your keyboard works just like it's attached to the iPad. So you can mouse around or you can use your keyboard in whatever app you're, you've clicked on. And there's literally no lag to it. It's very responsive. Unfortunately, the more I used it, the less reliable it became. Don't ask me why. Uh, you know, for you, this could be hit or miss. Other people have tried it, said they couldn't get it working. Some people said, yes, it worked. So, you know, I hope Apple fixes this, but maybe it's just, you know, the fact that we're running open core and we're using the modern operating system on the old computer that it's just not going to work properly for us. Everything else is running great for me though. So I'm still haven't run out to buy a Mac studio. I've been thinking about it, but to me, that computer is just going to keep filling up with dust. The fans are just pulling in that air from your desktop. Well, my desk always gets dusty. So over the course of two to three years, that thing is gonna be filling up with dust and you have to break the seal on the bottom to get the screws off and to get inside there to clean it out. So I'm gonna wait and see what the new Mac Pro has in store. It's probably gonna be way too expensive. For now, I'm still rocking my cheese grater. I'm still grating that cheese on the Mac Pro 5.1. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up and we'll see you on the next Mac Sound Solutions video.